Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at Shore Lee 40 with Peter Williams, very talented actor. He's very well known in Stargate's Apophis. He's been in Dead Like Me. He's been in you were even in Catwoman, and we won't blame you for that. No, don't blame me for that. I had a couple of lines that actually survived the edit. But I never got to meet Halle Berry. I That's a shame. That's like, you should have to meet her. Well, I thought it was in my contract, but apparently it wasn't. And apparently, I think what happened was I, at that time, reminded them of at least two of her ex-husbands. That could be bad. Yeah, and I was mostly in Benjamin Bratt's storyline story in that show. Because you were a detective, as I believe, right? Detective Bob, I think they called me in the credits. <laughs> detective Bob. You look like a Bob. <laughs> you know what? I'll take that. Because Bob is my favorite. Bob Marley. That works. Yeah, work. Man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, how are you enjoying the con? Uh, so far, so good. Um, this is my first time in Baltimore. And I'll tell you, when I landed and we were driving in from the airport... Um, the driver mentioned that we were on Chesapeake Bay, and I stopped him right there because I hadn't done the, my homework. I hadn't looked up where Baltimore actually was. I knew it was near Washington, D.C., but I didn't realize it was on Chesapeake Bay. And Chesapeake Bay has always been near the top of my bucket list. So I'm really happy to be here. That is cool. I'm glad this con could afford you a cross-off on your bucket list. You mean this, I'm glad this con could afford me, period. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do you do a lot of conventions? I have been known to travel a bit doing these things, yes, in search of the almighty adulation of the fandom. At least you're very honest about it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, I love doing the conventions, man. I, uh, I've, uh, I've seen much of the world through these things. Uh, Australia three times and New Zealand. I mean, whoever gets the chance to go to New Zealand. And um, Germany, Italy, France, England, all kinds of places. And one year, I even did 13 U.S. cities. That is very cool. You get, and all on someone else's dime. That's right. <laughs> it's more than a dime, too. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're being kind. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. So when you come to these conventions all over the world, you probably see a few people. They're not exactly dressed normally. They're, they're cosplayers. What do you think these people in costume? Well, you know what? At first, it was an eye-opener, to tell you the truth. Um, but I have uh, rapidly learned that not only are nerds cool, but that I am one. <laughs> and um, I, I, uh, I, I think science fiction fans, you know, are among the least judgmental people in the world. And I really value that in humanity. And um, I have rarely had a bad experience. What has been your best experience? My best experience? You know what? I... I, I it's hard to say the best one without offending everybody else, but you will allow me if I single out the European ones. I, I really enjoy going to Europe, and one in particular. There's a there's a there's a there's a little con in um, just southeast of Rome that has had me back a couple of times, and uh, I really enjoy going to Italy. Um, the fans there, you know, in Italy they don't even call it science fiction; they call it fantascienza which is so romantic. I love that. Uh, it's a joint, it's called DeepCon. It's a joint literary science fiction convention. And um, uh, mostly we go there and eat. I am no longer a science fiction fan. I'm a fantascienza, fantascienza fan. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's beautiful. Love, love to say that word. Now, are you multilingual as well? I am not actually, but I can um, talk a good game. I'm the kind of guy that whenever I go to places and I talk to strangers on trains, I can pronounce the words German, Italian, Spanish, Scottish, uh, you know, and uh, to the point where they think I speak the local lingo. And um, I'm met with a long run on sentence uh, as they assume that I can speak the language. But I, I, then, I then have to pull them back and say, Je ne sais pas. I uh, no parle français. You know, whatever. Um, so I have to pull them back, and but I'm very good at deciphering things. You know, English is a is a Latin based language, as are so, most of the um, European languages, and um, as a result, you can guess and make yourself understood. 
Very cool. Do you ever talk in Gaul to people? <laughs> Every one of these conventions has somebody who wants me to say Sholva or Jaffa Cree. <laughs> so there. And those, those are good phrases to know. It's kind of like, you know, where's the bathroom and where's the trader? That's right. Good phrases <laughs> and um, just about the extent of my vocabulary. Although there are one or two more words. One or two. So you got to play an iconic villain. What do you enjoy playing better, a villain or more of a heroic character? I'm a lover, not a fighter, someone <laughs> once said. Um, listen, if you're not going to be the star of the show, the next best thing is to play the bad guy. No question about it. You might not get to kiss the leading lady, but you do get the coolest death scenes. And that's, <laughs> one, that's, something, to, that's something to value. I need a host. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Now that sounds familiar. Yes, uh, I imagine it does. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I need a mate sounds uh, even better. So are you working on anything new that you can talk about? Well, lately I have been um, feeding the soul with uh, Caribbean movies that um, you, you don't get shown necessarily in uh, your local cineplex, but they probably will show up sometime at, at, uh, at a, a film festival near you. Um, I'm known in the Caribbean for a film called A Winter Tale, and um, the same director, Francis Ann Solomon, a very good friend of mine, has recently included me in another film that will be uh, completed very shortly and will be showing up at film festivals later this year called Hero the Film. Hero Film. Uh, hashtag Hero Film. You can find uh, the Facebook page and find out a little bit more about this particular project. Um, fascinating if you're interested in geopolitics, uh, post-war emergence of independent uh, post-colonial nations in Africa, and... Um, the, it sounds cool. Yeah, and, and, and the Cold War. And the Cold War. Things that people should, you know, because people need to be aware of history or else they repeat it. Context for where we're at. That's how I like to put it. So where can people find you on social media so that they can find out about this project and other projects? Well, I'm on Facebook and I'm um, generally very approachable. Um, although in this fractured day and age of po political polarity, uh, th there is a little bit more discrimination to, to, to be had in terms of who gets added and who doesn't. But generally speaking, sci-fi fans are welcome on my Facebook page. Um, Peter Williams, uh, there are about uh, 20 million Peter Williamses, but I'm the best looking one. And I usually, usually near the top. Um, you'll know me by my... Um, by my uh, my uh, profile pic. On Twitter, we value followers more than almost anything. So if you want to follow me on Twitter at Actual Apophis, you may laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> Actual Apophis. Uh, I get a lot of good uh, positive feedback on that handle. Um, Twitter, at Actual Apophis. Please follow. Thanks. I, I would, if I had been Apophis, yeah. I would probably have the same Twitter handle. <laughs> super, super, super. I was, Peter Williams just isn't as sexy as actual apophis yeah my last name is william son so we're kind of we I have think similar you understand my friend i think you understand so we have three quick bizarre questions for you are you ready sure yeah what is your go-to karaoke song <laughs> Listen, I made a big mistake to pick Michael Jackson's Earth song the last time I did karaoke. I probably will never venture there again. The opening stanza is pretty easy because Michael talks it pretty much. But once you get to that, ah, ah, you see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Earth song, Michael Jackson. <laughs> so that's the one you'll never go to again. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so if you could have any role on any show, past, present, or something you've heard about coming out, what is your dream role? Uh, Richard Gere in um, American... What was that? What was that? Uh, any, any of those roles Richard Gere had. I like the, the roles he gets. So you want to be Richard Gere? I want to be Richard Gere. Not the, uh, not the um, social media meme joke Richard Gere, the, the movie Richard Gere. So you just want his career, it's okay. I just want his career, his on-screen presence, and his uh, string of lovers. That works. 
Yeah, that works for me too. <laughs> okay, and finally, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, invisibility, I think, is one of the uh, one of my all time favorite dreams. Um, uh, most people, I think, would probably pick f the ability to fly, but I think invisibility um, could get me airborne. Like sneaking onto flights? Like sneaking onto flights anywhere in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Invisibility. Invisibility as a travel technique. Interesting. Travel technique. Um, yeah, I, it would probably even get me into conventions free once my, uh, once my star wanes. <laughs> Well, let's hope that never happens. I, I agree. <laughs> well, thank, <laughs> well, thank you so much, Peter. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Anything you want to say to your fans before we go? Follow me on Twitter. Oh, I already said that. You did. Um, cast me as Richard Gere. I already said that, too. Um, live long and prosper. That works. Yeah. Everyone, thanks for watching. And as always, follow your fandom. This is Goku. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, yeah! <laughs>